Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new, my name is Victoria. Today's video is going to be, as you can tell by the title, 10 of my favorite summer things, but the coolest part is that this is a collab with my friend Devin from the Crawford clan. She has the sweetest, cutest little boy, his name is Beckham, and they are just precious. So when you are done looking at my stuff or checking my video out, please look down in the description below and then go check her stuff out and tell her that I sent you. And if you are coming over from Devin's channel, hi, it's so nice to have you. And here we go, I'm just gonna get into it. My 10 favorite things. I've got an assortment here. The first one is this Neutrogena Sport Face Sunblock. It is 70, it's broad spectrum, it's waterproof, and it does not break me out. Also, it doesn't smell weird. I mean, it smells like sunscreen, but not weird. I had another sunscreen that I tried, um, and it smelled like horses. I don't even know how to describe that. It just smelled like horses. All right, so number two is my favorite outfit, and I actually have it over here. It's this dress. How precious is this? It's cotton, it's from Old Navy. It has this like stretchy in the back, so it actually fits over my chest and fits the rest of my body without looking awkward. This is really pretty lavender purpley color. It's so light, it's so airy, and it's perfect for summer. I think it was like $10. I dropped my list. Okay, um, my next thing is my favorite makeup for summer is this, apparently I like Neutrogena stuff. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. Technically, it's like a BB cream, I think, but it's not heavy, which I like. Um, it's light, and it's, I don't need a ton of coverage. I've thankfully been blessed with pretty good skin, so I don't need a ton, and I don't like it if I feel like it's cakey and it's gonna like melt off of me. Right now, I have on more than I would probably normally wear just because it doesn't show up on video, so. Um, but this is it. This is the Light to Neutral 30. It does have retinol in it, though. So that actually makes you more prone to skin damage if you are not wearing an SPF. But again, I wear this under everything, every day, but especially at the pool. All right, number four is my favorite candle. It is from Bath & Body Works. It's the Sugared Lemon Zest. I got it while the sale is going on, which I think it's still going on. Um, it literally smells like sugared lemon cookies. And I love lemon. Oh my gosh, it's thundering. It's so pretty outside. Apparently it's gonna storm again for like the ninth day in a row. But this makes your whole house smell really great. It has a really great throw. Um, it doesn't get all black and yucky on the inside. You can see this is my second one that I've gone through. Or I'm just starting this one. And I guess it's technically White Barn since that is the Bath & Body Works side, the candle side of Bath & Body Works. But that is what this is and I love it. Number five is my favorite drink. So I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do alcoholic and non-alcoholic. My favorite non-alcoholic drink for summer, and honestly, probably for any time ever, is the unsweetened green tea from Starbucks. I get a Trenta green tea with no sugar and no water. And it's just perfect green tea, good yumminess. It's cold, it's refreshing, it's not sweet, and I love it. I call it my crack, and I literally, like, I could drink four or five a day except for they're about $3.75 a pop, so it's kind of a treat right now. My favorite alcoholic drink is this. It's the Lion Kugel Summer Shandy. It's like lemonade beer. I know that sounds really crazy, but it's really good. And it only comes out in the summertime because they only make it um, with these honey lemons or Meyer lemons, I think. And it's only for a short amount of time. So we actually stock up on this. We get as much as we can so that we can have it through football season because it's still, I live in Alabama, it's still you know 90 degrees when we start playing football down here. So you want something cold and great, and this is perfect. All right, my next one, number six, is my favorite TV show. And right now it is a show called The Aquarium. It comes on Animal Planet um, at I think eight o'clock on Sunday nights, and it's all about the backstage, back like behind the scenes stuff of the Georgia Aquarium, which is so cool. You get to see how they feed these animals and all of the things that goes into making this aquarium the show-stopping, you know, experience that it is. And it's a lot, a lot goes into it, but it's really cool. There's no other way that you get to see all of the stuff. Um, and it's really great because it's great for kids. They rerun it during the week so I can put it on the TV and I don't have to worry about what the kids are hearing or watching or whatever else. It's just a really good, family-friendly, wholesome, show but it's also really interesting all right number seven is my favorite appetizer which i did not make but i make homemade uh dill and garlic vinegar like i marinate uh, marinate i don't think that's the right word i don't know maybe it is 
I put garlic and dill inside of a bottle and fill it with vinegar and then I let it sit for a couple of weeks. And then I chop up cucumbers and pour that, the vinegar over the cucumbers and it's so good. It's like spring cucumber salad. It's so refreshing and it's crisp and it doesn't leave you feeling heavy and it's just really, really good. Maybe I'll share that recipe with you guys. And my favorite activity in the summer is anything to do with water, anything. It can be the lake, even though I won't swim off of, like I have to be off of the boat or off of the dock in the lake. I have to be out in the middle of the water, but even then it kind of freaks me out to be honest. Like I'll ski, I'll try to ski. I'm not very good at it. Um, I will do the inner tube, I'll do jet skis. It's fine. I just not being able to see the bottom of the water in the lake for some reason freaks me out way worse than the ocean. I don't know why, um, but the ocean is, oh my gosh. I just think that I was probably meant to be born beside the ocean. I could literally lay beside the ocean and read all day, every day, be totally fine. I should have been a beach bum. Hmm. Uh oh, somebody's home. Hold that dog. Okay. Sorry about that. Ross came home from golf. Okay, where was I? Oh, the pool. I also love the pool. The ocean freaks me out because I can't see the bottom, and I think there's probably a lot of really gross stuff in it. Well, I know there's a lot of really gross stuff in it. We don't take care of it at all as a species, but I still love it. It's beautiful, it's calming. I read something some one time about negative ions and how we are so positively charged with all the electronics in our lives that when it rains or when we're by the water, water is a negative ion and that's why it's calming to us. I don't know if that's true. I don't even remember where I read it, but I thought maybe that's why because I always just feel so at peace by the water. And number nine is my favorite summer memory. My favorite summer memory is July 4th with Ross five years ago. Five years ago, he took me to a winery that's close to where we live called Morgan Creek Winery. And they have this big fireworks show and they had a band and wine tastings and barbecue. And it was just perfect for the July. I'll see if I can find a picture and insert it, but it was really sweet. Um, it's just one of my favorite memories. It was a really good night. We had a great time. The wine there is so good. It's muscadine wine. So it's really, really yummy. Um, I don't know. I always think that's, it's probably my favorite summer memory at this point. Like if I can pinpoint, cause I can't take a whole week of being at the beach with my kids or you know, something like that. So pinpoint memory is that one. My 10th favorite thing for the summer is my new cup that my friend Ashley made me. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera if it's coming across, but it's color changing and all of these little things are like dragon scales. And it says mother of dragons because I call the boys, well, we call them the mafia, but Sorry, that's Oscar. But we also call them dragons, and I actually have um, tattoos. I've got three dragons on my side for my boys. And actually, I did not even plan it. I want a Mother of Dragons shirt, too. Um, that another of my friends, Haley, bought me. It was really sweet. So, all right, I think that's it. Those are my 10 favorite things. I will leave as much as I can linked down in the bottom in the description box. You guys let me know what your favorite summer things are. And again, if you are coming over from Devin's channel, hey. And if you are gonna go see Devin from my channel, tell her I said hey and that I sent you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell beside it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.